here at airride.co.uk we'll have a challenge and to be involved in interesting and worthy projects the iCar built for Humberside Fire and Rescue is a classic example and the BBC loved it too A modified vehicle which simulates the experience of a car coming off the road and hitting a tree is being used by safety groups to educate young drivers. It's hoped the iCar, which was unveiled earlier today, will reduce the number of accidents. Simon Spark reports. It was a big event with big vehicles to match, but all of the emergency services and displays were here at the Humber Bridge for one common purpose to reduce the number of people killed or injured on our roads. Today's primary target were young drivers and their passengers, a group which faces the highest risk of a road accident. There's more young people killed or seriously injured as a result of road incidents than there is for cancer or suicide or anything else. So what we want to do is to try and reduce that figure down. And this was their flagship way of doing just that, the iCar. It may look like a sporty Astra from the outside. But inside it becomes more like a simulator where as well as the screen showing a car crash situation, it also moves with the hydraulics of the car, so you'll still need one of these. The visuals, sounds and movements ensure the passengers get as close to the feeling of crashing without the devastating after effects. When you're driving a bounce, you don't really think about none of that. But now you've seen it and you've seen what's happened, you, it gives you something to think about. So if you're 15 or older, there's a good chance the iCar will be visiting you throughout 2010. Simon Spark, BBC Look North. Thanks for watching. Please check out airride.co.uk for all your air suspension needs. Don't forget to check out Facebook and YouTube for all the latest information.